Hello everyone. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine check-in for summer solstice celebration and new beginnings. We've got the new moon solar eclipse on the 21st, summer solstice celebration on the 20th. Um, just all of these beautiful things. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. So now we're going to start with the Earth, Earth Magic cards and we're just going to see what energies are supporting new beginnings and celebrations? So what energies are supporting both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? We all have masculine and feminine qualities within us. So you can view these as your feminine, receptive, open, compassionate, intuitive nature and your masculine, powerful, take charge, make decisions, take action. Those are like the energies. So, Or you and your masculine, or you and your feminine. But we're just going to see what energies are supporting new beginnings and celebrations for this time. All right, what's going on? What energies are supporting summer solstice celebrations? Oh, my God. Oh, I love you, spirit. What is supporting the summer solstice and new beginnings and celebrations is new beginnings. It's a new day. Things are opening up, and it's a new day. vulnerability the meadow okay so to me this makes me feel like that receptive divine feminine comfortable with your emotions opening up the emotional body speaking your truth um, allowing yourself to flow with life instead of fighting against right look at this new life it's really abundant when you allow yourself to just surrender to your truth, surrender to love, surrender to these new beginnings. It's beautiful. Wow. Let's see if anything else wants to come up. Look at that karma. Things are being worked out. This is ending cycles, karmic cycles for brand new beginnings. You're gonna to me, this is karmic blessings coming in. And not only for you but for all of your ancestors because you're choosing to step into this new life. You're choosing to heal all aspects of you. Do you see how these snakes which are healing, this is the masculine and the feminine within you coming together, the shadows and light within you coming together in this perfect synergy for these new beginnings. And you are being blessed. Wow. DNA activation, holistic health healing, I mean, it's just, wow. So there are karmic blessings coming in, and we're just going to see what other energies are supporting this right now. What is spirit, you know, really wanting you to celebrate this time for these new beginnings? Let's get some more messages here. What's coming in? What blessings are coming in in the celebration? Oh my gosh, <laughs> look, you see it, right? Okay, so summer, and we're talking, I, you cannot get more synchronistic than this. We're talking about summer solstice celebrations and new moon solar eclipse, new beginnings. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. I, wow, wow. <laughs> I mean, seriously, take that in for a second and look at this. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. Look at that. What did I say? Masculine and feminine energies coming together. Masculine and feminine coming together. Love life, vulnerability. Be open to this love. It's a newness in love. It's an innocence in love. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's what's opening up. See what else wants to come out. One more card, Spirit. Highest and best, please. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, there's a few more cards. So blessings coming in, depending on where you're at in life, right? It's love. It's, you know, being vulnerable, opening yourself up to love, uh, divine soulmates, you know, twin flames. But also what's coming in, your karmic blessings, is a new business venture that you've been thinking about, creative idea, new job, leveling up getting a promotion. It's going to be very abundant. Trust and follow through on new business ideas or career opportunities because it's really, um, really beautiful. Things are opening up. 
and it's working well with others. It's attracting like-minded people that you're going to enjoy working with and bringing this prosperity and abundance into your life. And I feel like you're going to have so much that you're going to be able to share with others. It's beautiful. And see, this is one of the cycles that you're ending for your entire ancestral line. Like I feel like myself and a lot of people in, in my generation and other generations that are coming up are really ending this poverty mindset looking at life and looking at money as a beautiful energy exchange. So you are ending that poverty cycle that of your family, of your ancestral line for everybody. It's really beautiful. So that your your ancestors are working with on this new idea. And then look, pregnancy, the birth of a child brings great blessings to you in the world. This can be a birth of a child, you could be getting pregnant in the summer, you could be pregnant now and having a baby in the winter. I'm just saying <laughs> Because winter came out, so something from now, from summer until winter, some some beautiful new cycle is birthing. This can be that creative project, right? Birthing a new creative project, birthing a new idea. And I said, blessings to you in the world. It's going to bless you and you're going to bless the world. I'm telling you that is what is happening. So there may be a pregnancy happening, okay? I'm just saying, there might be. And then winter, the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. So, okay, let's just say something sparks in your love life now in the summer, right? And then you can fully be together in the winter. You can look at it that way. You start this new job and by, by the time winter comes, you are thriving. You, you push a new creative project, a new idea, a new business. You're birthing this new cycle. And by from now until winter, which is really not that long. Look, we're in the middle of of 2020 can you even believe that in june of 2020 that's the middle of the year think about how time has flown by so now the next six months i mean that's like nothing right so get ready get on this stuff because it's happening and then they said look at the bottom so the answers you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or holiday getaway this can just be you being in your own energy look at that Love in your life, nurturing that inner child, playing in the water, playing in the meadow. Just it's brand new beginnings, just loving life. Take a little time out, enjoy the pleasures of life because it's all working out. I mean, this is beautiful energy coming in. Wow, I love it. So they're saying, spirit saying in this summer solstice, in this new beginning, like celebrate yourself, celebrate how far you've come, celebrate the cycles of life that you've made it through. You've made it this far. Congratulations. Like seriously, congratulations. It's beautiful. There's a lot changing. I love it. Okay, now we're going to see what is spirit celebrating? Okay, what are all your ancestors and loved ones and spirit guides and, and the universe and your star family and just everybody celebrating in your honor? So what are spirit celebrating in the divine feminine's honor? Beauty. Oh, look at that. Beauty. Beauty is unveiled by the lustrous light within. The divine is celebrating your beauty, divine feminines. You are gorgeous. You are amazing. You have so many beautiful gifts and talents and wisdom to share with the world. Let your inner light shine. So the universe is celebrating the divine feminine's beauty. What about the Divine Masculine? What are they celebrating in the Divine Masculine's honor? Opportunity. There you go. Oh my gosh. Golden opportunity. Celebrating how far the Masculine has come. That the Masculine deserves this opportunity. Deserves this new life. Deserves this abundance on all levels. When your eyes are open wide, opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. I'm telling you, things are changing, you guys. I mean, seriously, things are changing. So there's opportunity, beautiful opportunity coming in for these new beginnings. Beautiful, beautiful opportunity coming in. Oh, I just, wow. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate how far you've come. Open your eyes to the possibilities uh, that the world is offering you right now. So spirit is celebrating you. And now we're going to see for each, for the feminine and masculine, what karmic blessings are manifesting for you during this time, during this, the, this summer. We'll say this summer solstice, summer celebrations. What's manifesting this summer 
for the Dubai. No matter where you're at, let's say it's June, July, and August, okay? Um, what is manifesting for the next three months? Whenever you're listening to this, because time is an illusion, right? For the next three months, what is manifesting for the feminine? A bright future manifests through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. Again, highlighting a new business venture. Maybe you're partnering up with your lover um, and doing something, building something, doing a project, making the decision to go. It's bright future. So deciding to move forward, find feminine, making that decision. You have choices and you're deciding. And to me, that purple boat is like third eye opening. And then you have all this rich red. So rooting yourself in Mother Earth. So root chakra and third eye chakra. Making beautiful things, creating beautiful things. You're, gonna, you're having a grand awakening. You're leveling up to even, more, uh, even higher frequencies than you were before. Finding that perfect sweet spot, that perfect balance. Changing the way that you're looking at a situation. Embracing your uniqueness. Any kind of pause is just an opportunity for you to get clarity. That's all it is. An opportunity for you to heal. An opportunity for you to expand and grow. Look at each opportunity where you get to take a pause as an opportunity to better yourself. That's a beautiful thing. So manifesting expansion and growth. You're manifesting renewal. Reviewing the past. There's many, many planets in retrograde and Mercury is about to go in retrograde and so is Neptune. So review the past and present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. So there's a renewal. This is a decision card. This is judgment. So it's reviewing what you've learned, knowing what your purpose is, and making the decision to share your knowledge and get going on it, right? That's what's happening for the Divine Feminine. There is unfounded fear. It's time to release the worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So I feel like this is what's changing for you, Divine Feminine. Where you were once anxious and having sleepless nights and insomnia, it's like the whole world is opening up now. You're going to have an opportunity to push out of this Push out of the toxicity. Let go of thinking about things so much. You're going to be a, making a decision that's best for you to move forward on a creative project. A new job is going to help you come out of this anxiety and be renewed. Okay? Making the decision that's best for you. Making a decision to heal. We have two nines in a row. That's independent energy. That's you being in your own energy and being comfortable with it. Healing, being a healer, stepping on the healer's path. Perhaps it talks about purpose up here, your purpose. Maybe perhaps your purpose is some kind of healer. A he you know, you can heal people in many different ways. You can make beautiful things and heal people. You can, you can just be there to listen to people and that helps people heal. But perhaps you're stepping into a role where you're, career and your business is going to be healing find or be a mentor take a break from society a commitment to your spiritual growth so you're having an opportunity here if there's any pause and action and anything else just as a baby needs time to grow in the mother's womb you need time to heal and grow in your own life and look at nine months nine months i'm just saying wow okay let's see what else for the feminine just one more card here so there's an opportunity here, Feminines, for you to finally heal from, you know, worrying. Because worry is a waste of time. Like you're realizing that now. You're, you're going to feel renewed and healed by taking the time to go within and appreciating how beautiful you are and the beauty that surrounds you. Yeah, you're walking away from dishon dishonest associations. You're going to be given the opportunity. This golden opportunity is going to be presented to you so you can walk away. Realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness something that's not worth the effort that's what i feel like is happening here you're going to get be given this opportunity for this new collaboration that is beautiful and will be very divine and abundant so you're having this awakening that what you have been in the energy the belief systems the job the relationship whatever it is whatever you've been in it's time to end that right it's change is happening. It's time to walk away and change things. You have the power to walk away. You have the power to make the decision to move towards what you really want. Okay. You have the power to do that. 
you have the power. I just want to get, um, let's get what the masculine and then we'll get some more clarity here. So for the masculine, what is manifesting? What are the blessings manifesting? Wow. Okay. Well, a lot of love over on the, on the masculine side. Look at this. The masculine is leaving the past behind. During these next several months, the masculine is going to take this opportunity and leave the past behind finally. The desire for more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. So the masculine, the masculine within you is ready to make these major life changes. You see, focus on the love. Children or childhood, nurturing that inner child, healing from childhood wounds if there are any, seeing your childhood differently. This is a reconciliation. This is a coming together. This is past life recognition, someone from your past, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently, you know, in a better or worse light. I mean, I always choose to see the better, right, than how they really occurred. And look at, we get love life up here with two children. So it is something to do with that. There is come unconditional love the masculine ready to move towards unconditional love divine love soulmate love here it is moving towards their princess their queen right a new relationship or emotional experience invitations to social events a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with so the masculine is reaching out to friends having beautiful friends around them and ready to move forward towards new love i mean princess of summer is like newness you know, inexperienced, you know, kind of that vulnerability here. It shows up again. It's okay. Open up to it. Being vulnerable. They're ready to be vulnerable. They're ready to leave the past behind and open up to this love finally. Thank you, Lord. Unity. Do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works. A spiritually minded community. So they are leveling up, spiritually speaking, Maybe taking a healer's path too, a counselor's path. Look at that. This is the Hierophant. Commitment. They are committing to their spiritual growth. They are committing to what their purpose is. They are committing to speaking their truth and helping others and sharing their wisdom. You see that? Beautiful unity here. Moving towards their spiritual path. They're committing to it. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, I felt it. Okay. The emperor. Yeah. The masculine is taking charge. Using logic and structure structure to increase their success they're getting organized they're finding um, balance and stability in the material world they're being firm yet compassionate they're finally balancing their head with their heart you see all this cup energy here balancing it with their head and their heart and they're taking charge they're going after it that's what's happening they're ready they're doing it and so feminines by you healing and letting go of the past even if you've had some friction with your masculine let go of that because this is a whole new world here. This is growth. This is maturity. This is different. And so you can leave this behind and, and know that renewal is coming. Know that healing is coming. Look at that. I told you. The princess to the queen. They're going after their queen. It may start out in love life where it's just kind of innocent and you're friends and you get to know one another. And you have it's just this newness. It's beautiful. But the, the masculine wants their queen. They're listening to their intuition, listening to their heart. They're, they're getting insight on this. Um, they're learning how to set healthy boundaries. Divine feminines, by you setting healthy boundaries and being open and receptive to this love and just shining that unconditional loving light out, not only is that going to help you, but that helps the masculine. They feel it, okay? They feel what you're sending. They feel your love, okay? And perhaps you've been kind of wishing upon a star sitting up at night. And what the masculine is saying is move out of this energy. Be in this energy here. Gain that perspective because renewal is coming. And you don't have, this is not the way it's going to be anymore. Walking away, walking away. Do you see that? And you can't, I mean, <laughs> this is what's underneath the deck. Okay, I'm just going to show you. King of Summer, divine counterparts coming together masculine and feminine energies within you coming together and the key is connecting to your emotions that's how you're going to balance the anxiety feel into your heart because love is the truth unconditional love is the way that you heal everything and it is truth so the masculine is stepping into their power they are being honorable see maturing emotional maturity and they want to really express themselves and you can trust this romance okay trust it 
We've got that coming the love life and then right under that is balance. So there's balance coming in within your own body, within your own masculine and feminine, okay? That's these changes that need to happen, bringing everything into balance. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. So there's balance coming in to your own body, being renewed, walking away from the past, moving on, focusing on the unconditional love, stepping into your power with an open heart. See? Blending the energies of the masculine and feminine brings everything together. And there's balance being restored in this divine sacred union. There's balance being restored. So believe that and know that. And we're just going to put the queen over here with the king because I feel like that's a good idea. <laughs> so see? There we go. Unity, balance, healing. Okay. What is the main energy that the Divine Feminine is feeling right now towards the Masculine? Like when the, when the Divine Feminine thinks of the Masculine, we're just going to get some main energies and then we're going to clarify. What does the Divine Feminine think about? Practice. So the best way to be good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. So the Divine Feminine is working on herself, practicing looking at things in a different way, practicing seeing the beauty and, and, and the magic in it all and the lessons and that everything is for a reason. Like I just feel like practicing this new way of being, overcoming this anxiety, it's a process, right? It's practice. And they're wishing upon a star. When they think of the masculine, when the feminine thinks of the masculine, it's wish fulfillment. Make a wish and expect the very best because that's what's happening. Wishes are coming true. Healing's happening. So hold your vision, dream bigger, and focus on your priorities and keep going. That's, that's what spirit is saying. So that's what, when the feminine thinks of the masculine, it's like wish fulfillment. I'm wishing upon a star for you. What about the masculine? Where's the masculine at when the masculine thinks of the feminine? Exercise. Run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. So the Divine Feminine gives the masculine energy. The Divine Feminine, by taking care of your physical body and exercising and just getting out there and getting out in nature, you inspire the masculine to do that. So whenever the masculine, you know, is out in nature, they're thinking or exercising and moving their body and connecting to their body and taking care of their body, healing their body, they're thinking of the feminine. Makes them feel happy. They're taking care of their physical body because they want to look their best. Come on now. They want to look their best for their feminine. Of course they do and worth waiting for. The masculine is saying, I'm worth waiting for. This is worth waiting for. I know that you were worth waiting for. And look, there's two little foxes here. How cute is that? Coming together. You know, things are being worked out. Your patience will be rewarded. Patience will be rewarded. And in the middle, it's share. When you share, everybody feels happy. So when you share the love, they feel it. When you share your gifts, your talents, your wisdom, everybody else is rewarded as well. Everybody's happy. There's happiness coming. Okay, there's happiness coming to this connection and this celebration. All right, we're going to get a little bit more on what's going on with the Gaia Tarot. All right. All right, feminine. What's, what's, uh, so the feminine's practicing her craft, practicing being in this higher vibration, wishing upon a star, holding her vision, healing. The ma um, so what else is, what is the feminine thinking about? What's in her mental space? What's in the feminine's mental space when thinking about her life and the masculine? New beginnings, getting clarity. Clarity coming in for these new beginnings, wanting to communicate. Archangel Michael working heavily with the feminine to clear away the anxiety, to clear away the fears, to clear away the illusions, to see truthfully, and, you know, getting ready to communicate, clearing up, ready, ready for new, new beginnings, okay? The feminine is getting, is clear. Like, I'm ready for these new beginnings. 
and look at this, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Like I'm dreaming, I'm wishing upon a star. Look, the unicorn looking up, the feminine being purified in the light, being cleansed, detox, refresh, personal wish fulfillment, personal wishes coming true, emotional freedom, feeling good on your own is the key here. Being grounded and stable and looking to the light, trusting your intuition, you see? Trusting the clarity. See, the clarity is pouring down from the universe right here. And then this is the four of air. So taking a rest. Time to take a little mental rest. See, you got that in a couple different cards. Just rest. Go within. That's where your answers are. That's where the balance is. When you go within, everything is unlocked. Everything comes into balance. So taking a little time, a little rest in the mental space. That's what I feel like the feminine. I'm taking a little rest. I'm cleansing myself. I'm getting the clarity I need. I'm focusing on my dreams, my wishes, and I'm just resting from mentally. And then here's the five of cups. Yeah, I'm taking a rest from this regret, this wallowing, this past energy that we already felt. To see this five of uh, winter, this is the five of cups. So that's what uh, the feminine is just wanting to take a little rest from it all, really being cleansed and purified and healing. And that's really beautiful. And you just keep with that feminine, okay? What is the masculine thinking about? So the feminine knows that this sacred union with her divine masculine is wish fulfillment. And, and the maybe uh, the feminine, because the four of swords is like an abstinent energy so the feminine really wants to just kind of work on herself and be in her own energy and save herself kind of like for the masculine not wait around but save her sacredness for the masculine you know what i mean the masculine is thinking about a new beginning nurturing the inner child expanding and growing is kind of like the fool energy like taking this this wand this staff and, uh, you know, maybe being a little bit of a loner, but kind of like on their own, but this fool, it feels like the fool to me, you know, tapping into that inner child. And we've got it all over the place with the six of summer and the love life and the vulnerability. So they're really tapping into that part of them to heal. heal. They feel youthful when they think of the feminine. The feminine makes them feel young again, whether they're young or not, makes them feel young. Yeah, look at that. They're thinking about the Divine Feminine. How can I get this new, fresh start? They see the Divine Feminine is very abundant. Doing your own thing. Uh, you know your worth. You're stepping into your power. And when you do that, when you take care of yourself, and when you're, I'm telling you, it always is. This will always be the, the message. It is very attractive. So they see this as, an, as very attractive. They're working on their own um, independence and abundance. And they see the feminine as abundant. So when they're thinking about the feminine, they're th they feel healed by the feminine. They feel that the feminine is very abundant, that this opportunity is abundant. And look at that. The child comes out. Okay, we get pregnancy up there. We get child. So the masculine could want a child with you or birth a new cycle with you, nurturing their inner child, purifying themselves, being vulnerable again, being open to this love, okay? The child within is speaking, wanting this new beginning in the material world. You see that? Wow. So they're really going back to, back to the drawing board, like clear, clean slate, more innocence coming in. And then taking charge. Look at that. I'm taking charge, and when I think of you, feminine, ooh, you give me that power and drive to move forward. I feel so passionate towards the feminine. I feel, I mean, there's just a lot of creativity flowing through the masculine right now is they, they, you know, they, they're the lion in their heart, you know, wanting to roar, wanting to go after it, go after this business venture, go after these creative projects. And they really feel passionate towards the feminine. They do see that stuff. Like I want this kind of a feeling. Okay. Let's put these up just a little bit. What about in the feminine's heart space? Where is the feminine at in the heart space? And see what the masculine is balancing the masculine and feminine within and nurturing their inner child. Beautiful. Where is the feminine at in the heart space here? The crone, gaining wisdom, growing, feeling mature. 
I feel like this is a lot of maturity, wanting to give, wanting to share wisdom, wisdom of what the feminine has learned on this journey about love, very wise in love. The feminine's very wise in love, had a lot of experience, yeah. Feminines, I feel like part of your journey could be a counselor of some kind. You know, this healing journey, this healing that I keep thinking or reaching out to a counselor. But this is emotional intelligence. You see it's coming right under you feeling free emotionally. This is really tapping into your emotions, finding that balance and stability. And then, like I said, sharing the wisdom, being a counselor to others, helping others heal. Reaching out to a counselor to get your healing, to a healer, whatever that is. It's, it's a lot of wisdom is being gained by you tapping into your emotions, Divine Feminine. And look at that. Emotion and intellect, balance of the head and the heart. So in the heart space, the feminine is clear. The feminine is balanced. The feminine wants love. The feminine wants to express love. The feminine is very wise in the ways of love. Because all of these situations that didn't work out and these things that happened that, that hurt and were painful and that you regretted or other people regretted, it was all part of your growth. You see all these fishes coming in to say, this is your lessons. This is your prosperity. This is why this happened. Purify yourself. Tap into the love. That's where you find your balance with that anxiety. I said head and heart. That's head and heart balance. So I feel <laughs> the feminine's like, yeah, I want this love. And then you get the mother and you get the sage and you got pregnancy up there. I mean, you can't. Wow, you guys. So the divine and, and then this to me, the queen of earth is like a mother energy. So the masculine sees you as a divine mother. Could be the mother of his children, bringing children together, having babies and the sage. I'm telling you, feminines, the divine feminine is wise. The divine feminine has got it going on and the divine feminine wants to share. And it, it looks like she's pregnant. I mean... If that's your age that you're in, or maybe your children are in, but their method baby's coming in, but this is the feminine that's feeling good and open and wise in her emotional body. Balance with head and heart. Like, I know. Look at It's like the crone and the sage coming together. The masculine and feminine energy is balanced perfectly inside of the feminine. And then, see, I know that my wise sage masculine is coming to me. I know this. What about the masculine in their heart space? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Whatever you just said. Whatever you just said, feminine. Yep. And look at how interesting is this because I did notice the turtle. Do you see the turtle at her feet? You know, turtles are a little slow, but it eventually happens. Look. The turtle. Like, something about turtles. That may mean something to someone because I did notice that. And then this card came out. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the masculine in their heart space, they're willing to put in the effort. You see, look, heart, I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to put in the effort. This is what I want, peace and contentment and happy family life, Ten of Cups, all my dreams coming true. I want this. I will put in the effort for you, my divine feminine. That's what the masculine is saying. I'm ready. I'm ready to put in the work. If I got to put in the work, I'm ready to put in the work. Yep, the masculine is ready to take this journey. They're ready to move on, journey on. We already felt it up here with the Eight of Cups. I felt it right here with the Fool. They're ready. They're ready to journey on into this new venture. This is the Eight of Swords. So they found finally finding the balance of the head and the heart. All that toxicity, self-imposed entrapment that was making them bleed and keeping them trapped and keep and it was very painful. They're realizing that those were beautiful lessons and giving them the clarity so now they can cut the chains of the past. Do you see that? They're changing the way that they're looking at things. They're changing the way that they're communicating. They're coming from a much more balanced place now. Yep, because this is what they had to overcome. They had to overcome the battle. This is the spiritual battle. This is competition. This is drama. This is all the stuff that you're walking away from. They're ready. They're like, I'm done. I've overcome these codependencies, these addictions, these trying to keep up with everyone else. Because guess what? The masculine is becoming their own hero. They're tapping into this kingly energy here, and they're becoming their own hero. They are a hero. They are a warrior, and they're overcoming everything. All of this toxicity, they are not doing it anymore. Okay? 
they are taking charge and they want these new beginnings. Do you see this? They're taking charge. They're being the hero of their own life. Okay. Focused, determined, overcoming this, walking away, changing things. And then this is the Ace of Cups. I mean, come on. Brand new beginnings, love of a lifetime, loving their life, filling their own cup, feeling cleansed and refreshed and ready for these beautiful new beginnings. So they're feeling very happy that they're overcoming these lower vibration energies and being their own hero. And I feel like they're your hero, feminines. Like you feel like that. You're like, that's my hero. That's my masculine. So there's new beginnings coming here. You see that? The Ace of Cups. There's new beginnings coming. There is. It's just allowing yourself to heal, feeling good, getting the clarity. See, brand new beginnings in communication, changing the way it's more balanced, and brand new beginnings in love. That's the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Let me just shift this slightly without, just so you can see a little bit more of the cards right here. There you go. I'm just going to get some final messages here. Beautiful opportunities await. It's time. The time is now. There are new beginnings. Lots to celebrate. Lots of new beginnings to celebrate in the summer solstice. A lot of wisdom gained. Share your knowledge. Share your truth. Speak up. There is love coming in. That is a lot of chunkiness there. But the angel of perfection says, love is abundant and beauty is perfection. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder right? Imperfection is perfect. The angel of kindness. I am a free and powerful source of life and kindness. The essence of kindness is to realize the intricate and delicate network that we form with the beings in every kingdom, in all dimensions. The kindness of the soul inspires us to care lovingly and responsibly for our relationship with people, animals, plants, and things. To be kind is to realize within our hearts our total inter in interdependence and to be thankful for all the kingdoms of life exactly as they are. Beautiful. Accepting things the way they are, being kind to yourself, being kind to others. It's, it's really tapping into that unconditional love. And then we have the angel of integrity. In the integrity of my being, I experience and express the dance of life. The dance of polarities is a constant in our lives to give and receive to laugh and cry to be or not to be positive and negative in the way we each carry within a colorful spectrum of energies accepting and expressing those aspects as they are to live with conscious integrity which means that we are channels for the living expression of our unified spirit so this is like stepping into power living life with integrity and the bottom of the deck to tie the union together is the angel of synthesis. In the white light of my soul, I see the synthesis of who I am. So everything's coming together. Everything, all the puzzle pieces are being put together in your life. Believe it. Synthesis is a key quality for understanding what the future brings. The energy of appreciation is very important in order to understand the meaning of synthesis in our lives without becoming victims of what happens. With the quality of synthesis, we develop the ability to see unity in diversity. And we open the way to inner wisdom that brings wonderful synchronicity into our lives. That is beautiful. In the white light of my soul, I see the synthesis of who I am. Beautiful energy, lots of healing, new beginnings, divine counterparts, birthing a new cycle, literally having a baby, abundance coming in, wishes coming true, karmic blessings for you. I'm here for you. Reach out if you'd like a personal reading or healing. They've been incredible. And I'm wishing you so much love on this journey.